style of play he had popularised at Murray in Dortmund. Why, he asked, would the English style taken by it, given that it was essentially a development of the style that had dominated English football in the 80s? Klopp stands as the high priest of game impression, although his example has been followed at Dortmund by Thomas Tuchel, while the theory is a key tenet of such coaches as Pep Guardiola, Marcelo Bielsa and Mauricio Pochettino. Pressing developed in the 60s in the USSR and in the Netherlands, and was characterised by multiple players closing down the man with the ball. That inevitably left other players free, but the reasoning was that that didn't matter because the player under pressure would be unable to hit a long extra pass to find an unmarked teammate. It spread to become a defining feature of British and Scandinavian football by the mid-70s. Game pressing is a development aimed specifically at winning the ball back as soon as it has been lost. A player who has just won the ball is vulnerable because he may still be getting the ball under control. He has just expended energy in the challenge and he may not have had time to fully appreciate the distribution of his teammates and opponents on the pitch. There are variations. Some coaches, Jupp Heynckes in his days at Bayern, for instance, sent one man to the ball while others closed down potential Soviets of the pass. Klopp tends to surround the man with the ball, and Guardiola seems to prefer blocking the passing lanes between the man in possession and potential recipients. But all rely on speed and organisation, looking to panic the man on the ball and regain possession as quickly and as high up the pitch as possible, countering the counter-attack. The biggest problem for all of them is knowing when to stop, and when a team should stop hunting the ball and should fall back into defensive shape. So effective has the tactic been that the proportion of open play goals scored on the counter attack in the Champions League has almost halved in the last decade. In practice, Gagan pressing is often targeted. In a recent game against Tottenham, for instance, Liverpool made a clear point of sending their forwards to close down the central defenders, looking to force a pass to Danny Rose for a fullback who was then hounded on that. Rose presumably had been identified as a fullback slightly less comfortable on the ball and was vulnerable because with the goal line behind him and the touchline to his left, he is cornered. This is why Moulin Hall discourages his side from playing out for the fullback. Gagan pressing has been made far more sophisticated by data analysis and can reveal the innate passing structure of opponents and to influence the ball. Players fitter than they've ever been and able to press harder and for longer than ever before, Gagan pressing is the style of the age. Alright, welcome to episode 14 of Martin Perma. There we are, Gagan pressing, as actually can be written by John Wilson. So it's tied right in with our book. So this is the second one we've done now that it hasn't been in the book. The last one was La Roja. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I do right now, because it's kind of dominating modern football, so that football is going. And uh, really, after the moment, it's great timing, because uh, Leeds got pulled yesterday with uh, Marcelo Bielsa. And he's big at pressing, getting the ball back so he can hold on to it. Um, is that up and running? Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, that's great timing, really. Game presses are, uh, this episode's coming along, just Leeds got pulled. Long time waiting for uh, Leeds fans. Traditionally, in the house of United football. Alright, so we're running around. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to base it off of um, basically class for me. I'm at the moment, I think it's about the easiest one to do. Um, I'm going to use that as the base to do our game pressing today. So basically, when I'm our team pressing, I'm going to push the back four up as well. So we're going to high off the offside line. And I'm going to talk about the history of pressing then. I didn't do much research for this one because if you ask modern football, don't really, don't really need to um, talk much about it. You all know a lot more about it than I do. So I didn't do much research for this one. It doesn't really interest me as much as uh, football in the past as well. I love reading stories about the old teams and watching the old videos and stuff for this one. It's kind of uh, see loads of really. But uh, clap when we see every day, so didn't do much research or many stories on that. But I'll talk about a bit about history of pressing. I touched on it mainly, I touched on it earlier in previous episodes because pressing has been done before. This one, the new invention, has been done before. 
Like normally, normally tactic they have been done for these guys aren't reinventing the wheel at all. Well, they're just restarting, they are reinventing the wheel, but it's like just to a higher standard. But uh, these guys are, are probably geniuses who think people think, oh god, they're doing this, that, and they're, they're sweet keepers and high off sideline pressing. It's all been done before. False number nine and all this stuff has been done before. As I explained yesterday's stream, false number nine is done before. Pressing is done before. Dutch team starting back. Uh, yeah, you saw that video. And the IX team and uh, Labanovsky in. East Europe, I covered all those in previous episodes. I did an episode of Total Football. You gotta go back and watch that talk about it. I did an episode of Labanovsky. He fell into the father of pressing game. did an episode of him, so I'm gonna go back and watch it now. did an episode of Enrico Sanchez Milan, who did his own pressing. So I'm gonna go back and watch those and learn loads about it. But I was touching briefly as I was saying, just to fill up space between matches. Talking shit. Alright, so here we are. What are we on? We're in Wimbledon away, they're up at the top, aren't they? They're third, yeah. It's going to be a tricky one. Long ball team. Rio Grimes, Taylor, and Charlie Hughes, disciples. Wimbledon, long ball tactic. Who's the manager, I wonder? Uh, Billy Davies, yeah. Yeah, he will be alright. Alright, and I'm going to go up the tactic. Clear squad first. This is more like a style play, really, than a formation. We've done that for the land much more style play than a formation. I just used the Argentina 78 team as an example for the formation. So this is the Liverpool team as an example. It's uh, more of how we play pressing than a uh, formation. So, alright, load. So, yeah, land two more at the end just to finish out the season that we could do a talk about. So, we're back to the Magic Square because the 1982 Wooden Loan was one of the most entertaining teams of all time. Didn't win the World Cup. Talk about that game against Italy. Then I worked that last, the second group stage, last game, and it was one of the greatest World Cup games of all time. Talk about it in the. What episode is it? Maradona, was it? Yeah, it was the system. Take you off in the individuals. That's that was about. These guys were all for individuals. They just pushed them on to the team because they couldn't afford to drive beyond the bench. So I said, properly about Magic Square, so they were four in the middle, essentially. And the 4 4 1 1 Tom used the root hole in the hole. But it's basically free roll to win your right hit. That's the very last one I'll do. And I'll finish up seeing that for us, and then we'll go from then. But then I'll see. But then it's to be up for more in a playoff or something. I don't think we'll get more in a playoff. We'll fight the fight, and I'll fight the fight, keep going. So yeah, I'll do that again, and that's the end, and we'll see how many left me invited by those two there, basically. So yeah, getting pressing today. Heavy metal football, as Tap calls it. And nothing new with Willie Kemp. He says nothing new English team. They're doing this early in the 80s. Graham Taylor was a big answer. He's walked the team in the 70s, the 80s. Pressing. Little up along, pressing with the back. So what are we going to do? We'll start with the back four, yeah. Robertson and Arnold really like to get forward. So Salah came up here or here? I don't know if he really tracked back on the leg last year. Man, they more central, eh? Firmino, man, they in. Press, 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 who's missing? <coughs> oh, my uh, Henderson, my Firmino, really. Got you in there. Press, press, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it that for now. Sane, if I'm going to left, but will essentially run really a really part of Liverpool. A lot of damage to the runs behind. Runs down the middle, essentially. Great player, man. Eh? So, yeah. There as well, really. If he comes inside the left leg, I don't know. I'll leave him up there for now. Put him there, there too, Salah. Put him there. Leave him there for now, man. Try out the formations, that's all about. So yeah, you're with Alderman, and whoever Henderson, I suppose, yeah, get forward and press, press, press. So, go down our attacking. Uh, they're really attacking the team, but we're going we short, hard, or go normal. Pressing yes, and I'll say yes, in part. Then go attacking, at home, go normal, we have one. Kind of works a bit for the test. So yes, they did all right, kind of get back into it. We last one game, really, did I not really copy the next game. I was really expecting that, but I was a killer against Barnes at home. We need to win our home games. Not winning up at home. It's killing But yeah, we were, we were just outside the playoffs over there, there was. Alright, who was there? And then I'll do the individual bits. Of course, we're all pissed off Branson, and so am I. Pick three, tough, get forward now. And back to the conundrum, we'll be playing central, central defence. Fuck. Oh. It's killer, right? Moore, I suppose, half the match. He's playing well, he's alright, lost the problem, fair respect. Great man in the dressing room. Who do you like, Rocket Arena? Yeah, he's playing well as well. Oh jeez, 6.5 though. This okay. Was... Great side again? Yeah, it was a bit of a bad game, but I need that play. 
Back to the rails. And the field, yeah, I was looking to transfer back to the midfielder. But uh, back up really, and I had to push Lundy really, and uh, man. So I wanted to attack him with an AMC. Who was I looking at? Lundy, I thought I could show a transfer him. Yeah, half million, young, he's good. I'm going to leave it, see, he's a good shot after half million. This is the guy I want, Wallerstad. Swedish guy, cheap. On the grand. 19 goals, 10 assists, not too bad. Yeah, I'd like him to put him in the field. The young guy, 17, is bought him from the for 17 year old. Put him in reserve or something. Alan, free transfer from the 17 year old, yeah. And that fine is coming in. So, yeah, I need him in the field, really. Especially now that I'm bloody mad. I was going to probably need a DMC now, so I was a contender, of course. Yeah, I was a cover for Alan Talbot. Forgot about him, that's grand, so. Alright, man, how long do you have to get going, come on, for these performances? Alright. <coughs> Carl's out, is he? Or fucking the locker's out, shite. Go up at least we can get done with that team now in the Firmino role. No Firmino, that's really good. You drop Steve, you should be playing forward, they're really Carl's. <coughs> Where's my boy, Eka Kanga, that's playing Mo Salah. And... Tacker... Can't. So he's going to relax, he's pissed off for Brexit, of course. Alright. Williams, Welsh, he's a defender of Branston, nah, yeah, for the box the last round. Butler or Warren? Butler, sick of Warren. Sufo, Collins, or Renner, or Roberts, Roberts will cover for Salah, so comparison, Collins, yeah. He gets injured with the Barrett's will pass. Alright, so that's it, press the shit out of that, lads. And the thing is, with bloody pressing. Back home, I'm pressing the brand team. Gotta put the brand team. Kind of annoying, that is. Should I be pressing the brand? Back? I suppose Van Dyke can. Who's the other day? Oh, man, got really pressed today. I can hold it. Press the full backs, maybe? Early back that. You're taking it. Lundy and Mahan. Was one of them? Yeah, I wait for Lumber to move up. Uh, what else do I want to do? Oh, yeah, well, I'm going to push me outside and I'm going to have some more of it. Do I? There. Push up, guys. And I'm going to try to do a slow action, I don't think about it. Who's going to go warn head? Right, passing, tackling, pressing, pass, free roll, no, four runs, full backs, yeah, get forward. Thompson, no, Fabinho, are you lay? Like a Kanga, yeah, Arsham, yeah, Arsham, yeah. Done well, uh, man, that's fine. On the ball, Ek, man, no. What's Arsham not dribbling? Oh, you run the bike, run the grass, we hate. Man, of course, would you be dribbling? Long shots, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Through balls. This is passing. 16. Yeah. My hand will have a passer. Cross ball, Eck, and Carson. Save all that. Alright, Kagan okay, passing. There we go. Where are you? Push me outside. Line up down the back four runner. Press shit out of these guys on that. Just back from Lund. Not gonna complete these for on the wall. <coughs> Start normal? Yeah. Alright, golden rest on that. So clap those. Push up the shit. Push up them. Should I push him like that? I go to the left. Nah, too good. Right, let's get a few wins in our bed, lads. Already go. Yes, Eck. Oh, I'm Salah. Fox. Blown this up. Oh, Jesus, Shay. First shot of the time, you couldn't stop. Just 
right. I just roll on top right. <coughs> Keep going, last to turn right. And you're not dead. Or not. Then come really fit the ice and dust bears. 
and then they could do the pressing game for the players of Fitter, they're on full time contracts, they could train during the day. That was a massive part of it. They could pay the players, but they weren't working, and uh, they could do two training sessions a day and all this shit, and uh, he just did really scientific training with them. He was a PE teacher himself, Mr. Pickles, and uh, that was a massive part then to do the players professional, so the college professional then they could get fitter, and then they could press, 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 press. press. And the Dutch team, I got reading the Dave Winner book, um, the Dutch United United team is called Williams Orange, Orange, but Dutch football is very good actually. But uh, they said, let's put it on here now. Oh, yeah. They said they knew for a while that they couldn't press for, uh, uh, for, for 90 minutes. minutes. They knew that was the Dutch fellas. Oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Let's get, get this guy in. Go for him. He's good in this game, right? Yeah, proper timing as well. Uh, I'm fucking struggling with you. Get in quick now. Put Lundy in the bench. Um, so it's losing my train plan there. Oh, fuck off. You know what? Oh, yeah, it's fair. They knew they couldn't press for 90 minutes, but they kind of gambled like, that if we could press for 60 minutes, press teams, they knew they couldn't press all day to win the ball back. Couldn't give up the intensity, but they said if we do it for an hour, we were shattered, the other team were out, they were shattered. Come the end of the game, they'd already be 2 or 3 down anyway at that stage, and they'd be so wrecked and chasing and Dutch players going after the ball, that they'd be wrecked and they'd be shot. So that they knew they wouldn't have to press them the last half hour, they knew they didn't have to keep it up. They were seen beaten really by the time the last half hour came along. Uh, yeah, so the big thing was to get the guys with fresh contracts. When you're on Christ, you're out. He was, um, when he was 17, 18, he brought on the Dutch team, he had a second job, he was on full time, his second job was selling newspapers in the street. So he scored two goals the weekend by accident, the next day he'd find him up the street selling the newspaper, and he's facing in the front page. Man, that's great. You can see you're a superhero, you're a star player, and the stadium scoring goals and going to meet him in the street very next day. Yeah, they were the biggest bonus of the Dutch team, pressing. They kind of started with Lobanowski, I'll talk about him next. Came along at the same time and he started pressing. Started pushing press again. I love Nick Tardio. Let's get the comments in. <coughs> And Barton was going to drop the midfield and play. He's put in a shift for us. Don't know what I'll leave goal earlier. This is a point in the last game. You didn't get the winner for me. Oh, my centre defender's a loop of shit. Useless again, lad. So far. Lack my tracks, is it? Yeah. Alright, let's go again, guys. Come on. Let's get a win. Away again. What are they doing? Pick up O'Brien. Was he? Burton the boy, I'm back from Rosemary. Get on Burton the Brian. Yeah. Oh, get on Bo. Bo will look in their own mark. Let's win this one as we win. They're attacking us. Probably should have. Yes! We went one up the last game, though, lads. Kill us from this time. Probably should have attacked the last game. Well, we wouldn't retire, I suppose. Can't get too greedy. Don't give him a shirley. Fuck's sake, we always do that. When you get two goals, we give him back straight away. We've got to make him work for a goal, lads. Jesus. Runs on after the top two before a match. Alright. Can he even offer you? Or more time to stand around up. Say it again, second half, lads. But these two fools. Jesus. Can't get any other missed defenders. It's a condition. Fucking hell, match. Blood in our butt or a fine. A chance, you know, to prove yourself. Uh, we've history, we've gone two up, so, yeah, and that fucking money. Jesus! It's a bit hard to find out the season, we've gone two and that couldn't call up again. Ah, fuck sakes. What the hell have we not given? Jesus, two up, we still couldn't call up again. Change the highlight, I don't know. Fuck, that's sick, man. Ah, bloody hell, you man. Three shots out of four. Ah. God, it's really sick. Two of fucking hell. Couldn't close it off. What a collapse. Fucking just as good as it. Two games on the road, it is fine. I hear there's no warning, my friend. So you should have probably always cost me fine some games. Such a defender's a big problem, is that? 
uh, force. This we will not again, we can wear a tail, there are hairs, both ears.
uh, our front side bars because that's Wellens. Connors give that for bar some. Well, we need to win, lads. Got that last one sick thing. Why don't we win the West Central Defenders? Well, that's the back. We've got a deck to turn out all of a sudden. Options. Uh, you. 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 Connors and Super. That's tough enough to be a mesh. And he's a central defender, lost the can. It was back in central defense. Covered the full backs. Warren. The start Warren to the match? No. Keep, keep it drawn and try to play Warren again when I know it will never answer the fucking. Alright. Need to win this last. Huge game. I'm going to attack this time. Press the shit out of him. Yeah, I've got midfield general. No, we go up, lads, kill the game. Hot sick, we're sick, but fucking off and give away the goals, let's try Come on, give it. Ah, fuck it. Bloody bad stream. Haven't won yet. Hide. Ah, that's a big clock, is it? Kill the ass. Easy, let's put it on here. Come on, over us. Yes, white off. All about that's done. Jesus, we get killed. What's going on? Want to surprise the defenders again? Are you out there more again? Warren, come on. Should have paced back there for the highlight. Yeah, 19. Pace. Thompson, Barson. Come on, that's good. This one is for the Rob one for once. Barson finish it. Jesus. Shit, 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 Barson, yeah. No, he's playing a lot of field. God, this is a disaster stream. I'll try to play, I'll play in software. I don't want. Warren 
she wants to be lonely your chance no about that Two more fears on the bench, lovely. Hollands. What am I doing here now? Top of all of them, as I said. I'm back to work here, really. Need more of it. Top, you're not fit. Need rest. My neck, you're well. Yeah, superb. Hmm. Alright, so come on, all that. Come on, knee win. That was normal. That's what we expect in the first two games. We want these guys first two, first game of the season, that rule a lot, the championship. Got the fast line at us. Right, come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Stalled. Oh, 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 no, 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 he's going to get a red card there. Thompson, come on, fight, fight, press the button, lads. Jesus, give in. Oh, it's a penalty, of course. Ah, jeez, we're better than one off. Come on, lads. Ah, oh, Warren, God. Oh, my God, you've got to win. Look at this. He's an absolute useless. Right, that's the last game of the season he's playing now. Can't keep up with him. Can't keep doing it for myself. He's not going to get him for the rest of the season. Can't put him in there. God, that's so good. I'm not going to quit him. Alright, let's hold out. Just draw all of us. Yeah, fucking tear, 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 tear. Commission, okay. Four, four, two. Can you be a super four, four, two left? Right, you're all playing crap out. Huh? Clear the enemy, yeah. Oh, I should have put Robinson there. Right. Bring him back here. Put him on the left. Oh, right. All right, hey lads. We don't need to turn this around. God, we're better than that. Jesus, say you're not going to know one of the penalties still. Ah, lads. We never scored enough to come out there. Totally give up the late balls. Come on, lads, push. Between pressed in the zones, 
through, through the long, long press the areas, areas yeah, yeah, like the zone, zone basically a crescent, the zero spine is going to be pressed there. The top of the bottom of the um, top of the bottom is actually the screen got a 19, but uh, they treat that like pressing was the law of training, they implemented it. They had a um, hard pressing, pressing, which is kind of like jockeying for the ball, so you were pressing it and you were just disrupting the opposition. You were forcing them past the bad areas, you were forcing them past the pressure, so they put bad passes or bad crosses in. They had full on pressing in, which was pressing and win the ball back, tackling. And then they had fake pressing, which was one or two legs press, made it look like the whole team was pressing. The rest of you were actually going to take a break. They were resting and recuperating during the game. Amazing, really amazing discipline to install these three legs pressing. And they used to do all three throughout different games as well. In this case, oh, no, not, not in ball there. Our prospect, I like, first team player, right? Oh, yes. What's the call as well? Yes, keys, I can Come on. Bring him in. We survived the season in the championship. Super low three weeks. We've got a sudden move. Uh, yeah, street has pressing. Drilled it in the training. We won't even win this one, guys. We're in two. We won't even win this fucking one. I know you can raise these out. So you can make a push for the team. No oh, brands to it. Fucking get you in there now. I'm sick of you. Uh, watch. Watch the play there. Oh, we get. What else is in there? Need to do the game time. Lundy. What's the name of you? Godfall, Collins, Roberts, Raya, right, yeah, Chance, Thick, Clean, Barnes, Pretty Super, what injured? Oh, Barnes is back, brilliant, because he's not sure. John Luna was sticking back back. So I can put the man in the defense of the field, Thompson rest. Oh, I'll take Thompson rest. What is the rest? What am I doing with Mesh? Warren, can we leave Warren on the run? Jesus. All I need to trap all the time, give him second chances. Hey, we really haven't mentioned enough of that, sorry. Victory. So I have a uh, fuck, 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 Winner. Winner of Wellens, give him Warren victory. Yeah. Alright, okay. Right, guys. Do your damn, this is a bad new win. Pick up Morag, I'm hanging. Pick up my Morag. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. The parts were so wonderful as well, and there were guys that are having up the table back home. Playing very well. Better to do that. Come to the next turn. Got the Barman game with a really low point. At home, rolling over like that. Good luck, come to a lot from Jeff Lund again. Jesus. Brutal. Something there. 
Han gick två mål i sen en sån shot han gav så jävla skillnad. Oh, 
Jeez, not, not responding. responding. Tom said, Cure didn't believe. High five, high five. Oh, yeah, that happened. happened. Oh, that's like, no. Shit, 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 shit. shit. That never happened. Alright, it's time. Maybe if we play the game. Shit. Hold on. Good lad, good lad yourself. Help yourself. Four balls, short shots, five, that's the jab. Good tens. Maybe change. 
So these kind of formations of mixed flight, yeah, yeah it could be a big difference. Blah, excuse me. Are you going to be here after that? That's the last one. Fucking hell. Complete. See the score is on 90 minutes. See the score is on. For the speed broke back, it's too bad now. Jeez. And some forms. Right, Central Defender is still playing poorly. Won the game now, just to take them off. And then the enemy is struggling. So I'm not. Can you see the ball as well? There's so much. Forms. And then drop on your wheel, which is like. Playing the ball kills you. Right, I'm gonna go back to the Southern League, but okay, three, four pages and two farms open up. So the bar for me. I was going to wait for a shot, but I got a 5-0. Oh, we got the other stage. 6-0, yeah, we're too far back. Off the Gleason's goal, or killer. Both of them. Both of them were winning. Alright, what's this against that? 3, 6, 7, yeah, so we got a good win. Well, the next one, I'm going to give a shot with the Nipper Cup. We'll win the rest of the game at home. Right. Uh, so this is Jimmy Burns. Great, uh, probably harsh to be against Spanish football. From Spain, he's even just trashed in Paris, which was born in Madrid. So he knows a lot about Spanish football. He speaks Spanish. Uh, when I visited La Masia, La Masia, the list of some of the former star pupils is most striking testimony to its success. In addition to the Argentine national Messi, uh, the Castilian born in Iesta, yeah, he's born in Castilla, the province of Hull. But I don't know where didn't go. Well, it's been on the set there, Castilla. And Pedro from the Canary Islands, they include its most famous Catalans, Puyo, Javi, Busquets, Fabregas, Pique. But all the old boys of La Masia, one more than any other, had earned a special place in the history of Spanish football, Pep Guardiola. So I'm just the names here, came from La Masia. The brown room is called the factory, La Masia is called the home. Guardiola's Catalan identity in football skills were defined at an early age. He was born in a small rural village of San Pedor, so 50 kilometers north of Barcelona, where the locals spoke Catalan language during Frank years. And poor local kids like him learned to kick the ball around in the narrow streets playing on stone walls. Guardiola was 13 years old when he, in 1984 when he arrived at La Masia. So they actually live in the. Oh, get this guy. They live in uh, La Masia, they actually live in the quarters. Uh, Mayor Meva, Mamma Mia, he marvelled in Catalan in his first day. Every morning when I opened the window, I'd see the camp now, he said in his first day as border. He was there for the next five years. There were four bedrooms with, and ten thousand youngsters in each of them. Guardiola shared a bunk with another village kid from a similar poor background. His name was Tito Villanova. He was two years older than Guardiola and became a kind of mentor. So yeah, Tito, Tito Villanova, his assistant manager. Died of cancer, a tragic, really, very sad story. Great friends of Guardiola. But uh, imagine living uh, in the neck of the street for Camp Nou and see it every morning. You wake up, God, that's been great for a kid. Great boost, morale boost, you love it. Tito never really made it as a player. He stayed in the lower divisions where the grounds were not so good. So the playing, the playing field, fields of poverty, they call them in Spain. Even a summer of facility put many sports grounds elsewhere in Europe's shame. Guardiola was promoted to the ranks, but he never turned his back on his old friend Tito. When it came to managing the first team, he called on Tito, just as he had done when he was at the B team. To his to be his assistant and to remain one of his trusted friends. Both Guardiola and Tito shared an unflagging faith in La Masia's contribution to the football style and grace. They also believed that his youngsters had an indestructible barrel strain in their DNA, which can be passed on to others, whatever their background or nationality. Nah, he's not going to fucking this guy. They're all in front of him. He's not going to waste. Uh, yeah, it's made it for a couple of years, for a moment. They don't have to let it down. What else is going on there? That's a ball trick. Straight up there. While at La Masia, Guardiola learned Catalan poetry and listened to the songs of Louis Black, whose protest songs have become popular in the final years of the Franco Radio. For much of his time, was spent getting as close as he could to Catalan, developing his own skills and spying as much as he could in the first team period. He would at time look up to the Basque and Domi Zubizarreta and they might be allowed up as his role models, examples of noble characters on the off field. Bob in there. Digo. But the earlier and clearest image a lot of older Barca fans have of Guardiola is of a skinny, unshaven water boy 
running out from touchline and embracing Peachy Alonso, the day Terry Venables' team qualified for the opening cup. Terry Venables else held the charge for Barcelona. Yeah, he lost underhand teams, but anyway, when he left, Terry Venables left. Um, the Spanish government did a probe in Barcelona football after they were paying taxes. They were being paid two wages, one by the club, one that they were declaring tax, one that they weren't, under Terry Venables, of course. Not that he was, not that he was, uh, he said he didn't mind, he got a fucking out shady character, I don't know what I mean. Um, I'll pass all up, right? Pass all up. Right, stick to this one because they need fucking money. They don't like change from the back to the old one. I'm gonna have to panic. <laughs> right, give him, come on. Who, uh, who let me know that? That's Ray State. I'm gonna be proud to name Dickhead. What throws it? All victories in the rift, which, right, yeah. Thompson and Duff, Lundy and Wellens. Dog, I'll say again. Man, back to the Collins, Thornbridge, Soldier, Williams, the other fielder, much more. Yeah. Alright, same again, lad. Got two in the row. That was the last one in the row, actually. Yeah, Brad for Crystal Palace. Bristol, Bristol lad, we should be beating these. They came off for us. Got our home fans badly, boy. Have a look. Oh, yeah, she. That's the lad. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, they're all awesome, isn't it? Even up. Hold up, that's in half time. Alright, it's a struggle, struggle, struggle. Thought we were all struggling. No confidence. No, that's not. Everything was up. Oh yeah, he's good. Brass and Candy, good at times. Much better than Warren. But then Mullins. Get the ball out of the bars from Dunn, only they'll do a good job, lads. Need a second, lads, to be comfortable. Oh, lads, we put it away. Shit, shit, shit. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Fine, lads. Come on, Colin, get me another one. Give me another one. Let's see, let's give it a last one. Oh, here. Shit, shit, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, my cons. Alright, another one. Feeling guilty with those two in the ring. Jane, from it, but we kept pressing, I suppose. Ah, uh, so that's how we set up Yeah, I'll show you, like I said, okay, it's a bit more fluid, we've got some of We're gone, now we're gone for three hours, like. Now we're four off, yeah, the crew gear, man, yeah. People are gone, really. It's fucking up. Even if we held on to that one, the five all, we'd be 45, we'd be still in there. I won't get that. Getting in pressing, we're a disaster, my friends. We were in the modern, we the modern game, but not in the game 2000. I were all day. Zoobies right hand low, drop that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Terry Venables. Second wage, look for the players, but we lost fair taxes. Anyway, Guardiola was promoted by Cry for the first team. Jorge Valdano, who will become one of many huge admirers of Guardiola, famously remarked that in Catalan's game, one was the pride of the neighborhood kid. Guardiola remained forever conscious of his Catalan village roots, but also had luck on his side. At the time, Kuhlman was injured. We Amo we are all Amor was suspended for the tech to the red cards and Mia Mila had left the club, leaving a gap that leave filling in the field. Is that Roger Mila? Did you think Barcelona? Okay. I don't remember that. Roger Mila, Mila, Roger Mila. I'll give you the first name. He's great Twitter actually, Roger Mila. Follow. 
Um, in the end, why they all got his big break was Cruyff and Faden. Cruyff knew they could do it in the game, he had to I think there are a lot of people who sometimes miss out simply because they're not given a chance. I love Cruyff. Yeah, because there's a lot of people who say he's not given a chance. Not much chance. All you have to do is leave the league alone, really. Start playing um, fun. Uh, yeah, it's because one of my favourite players in the game that I want to play with is. I just want to go on a clone user. Certainly, Cry could not have picked up Guardiola if he hadn't believed him. And the Dutchman told me, as the Dutchman told me, Guardiola could control the ball quickly and pass it quickly. He could deliver the ball in good conditions, but another player could do something with it. In the legendary dream team that won both the league and the European Cup in 1992, Guardiola formed part of an array of talents and skill that would for a while have even hard core Madridistas watching in awe. It was arguably the best Spanish club, club sites since the golden years of Real Madrid in the 50s. It's triumph for Wembley brought over a million people out of the streets of Barcelona. Pep Guardiola away the Catalan flag in the City Hall and the offices of the General Generalista. Visca Barca, Visca Catalonia, cried Jordi Puyol, the regional government's president. He's off. Toes off. Who is this guy? Who am I, guys? I don't know. Uh, the last local politician to transform a football event into an act of political affirmation. The rallying cry for the club honoured in the same linguistic breath as the Declaration of Catalan Na Nationhood. But it was Guardiola who struck the most passionate and emotional note that day, declaring, Citizens of Catalonia, you have it here, and they raised the European Cup. Everyone knew, everyone there knew he had paraphrased the historic words of the former Catalan president, Joseph Tardellas, on his return after Franco's death and post civil war exile. And many Catalans love him for it. Yeah, and he supported the guys who were throwing the out. The Catalan movement, they're late, they're already out, they're a supporter of them. They're doing right to be impinged, just to be thrown in jail. Change things for the cop. I want to give a soup for a run. I'm going to go there. Who else needs a run? Barnes. And who else? Man. Yeah, I get one of the other aspects of his normal average shite. Uh, get a picture of the bench. Or, Collins is Tobridge. So, Jack Williams. Mash. I'm oh, sorry, you come up. Mash, you come in. Actually, get warm. McBride. Only oh, move here, lads. Uh, some 15 minutes, oh, I did kill them, can't score. Bomb net, lads. She's a bit of a every game, like. What? Branson sent out a message to his boss after criticism. Feels right, fucking boy. Oh, Branson, sick of him. Be paying. Fucking seven. He's a man who left for a while, Zach. Cost us a fucking shack. He's that. Oh, it kills me in this game. It's been a particular save. He's going to be too late, too. After he murdered him, it couldn't be. I'm going to get off here and see you. Come on, Branson, put up the net. Jesus, I'm very happy. Yeah, super funny. Fuck that. God, we could change that more for the score. Okay, I need two or three shots, guys. I'm not very happy. Uh-oh. Right, Ushi, you haven't been great since you came in. 
Still not. Yes, you get it. Oh, Alright, go. Let's get a few results tomorrow. More positive now. We did not beat early, but 